to tell y'all something about tonight's episode. You ready? You ain't ready! <sighs> tell them about tonight's episode, though, real quick. <gasps> tell them without telling them too much, but tell them how you... Yeah. Y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say it is one of the top five episodes that we've done. That is quite the statement. And he was barely in the episode, too. <laughs> so Sterling K. Brown and Chrissy Metz warned us before the fourth last episode of This Is Us aired that we were in for an emotional gut punch, uh, grab an extra box of tissues episode. And they were right. She's my wife. <sighs> I made a vow. We know Miguel. It's so beautiful, this beautiful story of a man who didn't want much. And, um, oh, I just, he didn't come from much. He didn't want much. And he's, oh, you guys are going to love it. It's, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. I have failed everything else in my life. My parents, Shelly. We are not questioning how much you love Kate, her. Kate, I am not leaving her side. The episode simply titled Miguel had the character name trending on Twitter, along with the show and Rebecca. In episode 103 of the series, we finally got the backstory of Rebecca's second love. The first time that I ever felt homesick in my life was when I left you on that porch. And I'm not really sure how to explain it. John Huerta has reflected on the journey of his character after the episode aired. It's, um, it's really hard to believe that we started this journey six years ago. And I mean, look how far we've come. Why is it so hard for you to watch me make something of myself in this place, in this place that you brought us to? It has been my absolute honor to be your Miguel and to join the world of the Pearsons. He told Variety that telling Miguel's full story had been in the works for several seasons, but... The way that the timing worked out, the episode is different than what it would have been if it had come sooner because it's so close to the end and we had to address Miguel's death in the episode. And it had Sterling and Chrissy in tears. You were audibly <laughs> crying. There was a moment. We I were, said, I can cry audibly too. We were watching it together. You know, Brown has leaky eyes and so does his sister. Yes. And we were doing yes. something. And something happened in the episode and I went, ah, 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 ah. And then everyone else went, ah, 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 I was like, oh, I can breathe. I, okay, I can breathe and cry audibly now too. Yeah, I was very, thank you for that, Sterling. Really... Here's to living life to the fullest, surrounded by the ones you love, and making lemonade. Although he didn't have a writing credit, John was very involved in the planning of the episode, and he's very curious how fans are going to react to seeing Miguel die. He says, there might be some fans that are like, yay, he's gone, but you know where those fans can go. <laughs> there are other fans that's going to hit them really hard. They're going to worry that they didn't get to invest enough into Miguel. But if they go back and think of all the great moments and great little tidbits that Miguel was able to inject into certain episodes and certain situations with the Pearson family, they'll realize, oh, all this makes sense. The story they told us in this episode makes so much sense to who Miguel is and how he played into the dynamic of the Pearson family. And I think they'll walk away feeling very full, very satisfied. But I don't think they'll be ready for the end, for Miguel to be gone. I really don't think they're going to be ready for that. After the episode aired, Mandy Moore showed that she's clearly a fan of Rebecca's second love, posting... Team Miguel and Team John Huertes for life. And John replied, you fill my heart. Even Justin Hartley begrudgingly wrote, <laughs> fine, I guess I'm Team Miguel. Love you, John. Take it from me, man. You don't want to leave things unfinished. Now, even though we saw Miguel's death in this episode, doesn't mean he won't appear in the final three episodes. He tells Variety, I've said the whole time I've been on this show, Miguel's a time traveler. He's the one that goes from the 50s to present day. So you can never count Miguel out. He might make an appearance. Guys, we saw Jack's death halfway through season two. And he's still on the show. So I don't even know why it's a question whether or not Miguel will be in the final three. Of course he's going to be there. I was going to say that I enjoyed this episode. But I feel like that's like the wrong word to use. Um, I appreciated this episode. That was really well done. I mean, it wasn't about the divorce of a beloved marriage or... Um, the slow mental decline of a beloved character. It was about the death of another one. <laughs> but I'm joking around. But yeah, I mean, as good as the show is, 
the last season has been a lot. I think you can agree with that. Um, yeah, I mean, it was really well done. It's cool to see Miguel's full story. It didn't change my perspective on Miguel. I've always found him an, an interesting character. Um, yeah, I'd never had a negative opinion of Miguel. I think the episode will change those people's opinions that just saw him as the other man and like breaking bro code for getting together with your best friend's wife eight years after he died. I think they'll change those people's opinions. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Maybe you had a very um, passionate idea of who Miguel was, and I'm interested to see what your thoughts are after this episode. But it's a good question. Ask me again later. <laughs>